Okay, hey loves, the book Wilson's here. Welcome, welcome. I have a super special guest today. She's kind of hiding. Don't hide, Ina. Okay, we have Ina Burmeister. She is a painful artist in Papillion, or Nebraska. I almost said Omaha, Papillion, Omaha. Omaha is not a state. So uh, you will be able to find all her links down below. And she is here to, or I am here in her studio, and she's going to teach me how to do paint pour on some super fun things. I am going to just switch to my desk view. You guys know how this goes. And we will just do, get directly to business, right? Here. Okay. Stealing my computer from here. Ina, it's all yours. <laughs> So I, so I just get to talk. Yeah, you tell me what to do. Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to my studio. I'm located at 134 North Washington Street in Papillion, Nebraska. Stop by and say hello. We're open Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays, unless on Saturdays we are doing a show. So, Luba, I'm going to have you glove up like this. Okay. I'm going to take my rings off. This. I do not want them to tear the gloves. Oh, been there. Been there, done that. Okay, gloves on. Gloves on. Okay. Jump here so you can choose colors. Ooh, fun. Got a leather of colors. Oh my All goodness. All kinds of four colors here. Fun. Okay, so this is a pine block which was sanded. Okay, I have no idea. I think it's a five by five by like an inch and a half or something like that. Okay. So first thing we're going to do, um, I may have you come on this side. Oh, okay. Closer, closer to your subject that way you're not reaching across the table. <laughs> Those are my hands. <laughs> I'm excited. I yeah. always use a base of white. You can use any color base, but I always okay. use a base of white. I have shake, shake that up. Shake? Like up and down or shake. side to side? doesn't matter. Just shake it so it's been sitting for a while. All right. All right. I think that's good. good. Yep. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and take the lid off of that. Please don't splatter. I always teach my kids, my students in my class to open the lids away from them. I had a couple that opened it to them, oh. right into their faces, because you know how kids open and it's like, and yes. Okay. So what I do um, when I'm doing a paint pour mm -hmm. is I'm going to put a puddle of paint in the center. And I'll just okay. do one, and then I'll have you do one. And is it going to pour on the table, though? Yes, it will. Okay. Do we care? No, I don't we don't. We can touch. Okay. Those Perfect. Right. So I'm just going to put a puddle of paint mm -hmm. there. So if you want to go ahead and put a puddle of paint in yours. Okay. So like a quarter cup, a couple of tablespoons, what are we talking? Well, just enough that, because it'll, what happens with your white paint is it ends up getting all poured off. Is that good? Yes, that's perfect. Okay, so that probably is about like three tablespoons to a quarter cup. Uh, yeah, probably, probably even half a cup. Something Maybe even like a that. half a cup? Yeah. Okay. And then you're going to take your blowtorch, and as you can see, there's bubbles in here. Uh-huh. And we just kind of push the blowtorch on and pop those bubbles. Oh, how cool. And this is just a little creme brulee torch. Yeah. From Sir Le Top that I absolutely love. Then you're going to choose colors. Oh, so, colors. What should we do? Ugh. I My, always love the um, combos of like blue, gold, and white. Okay. That kind of always goes perfect. Mm -hmm. Like maybe like a turquoise or something. Oh my goodness, she has a treasure here. There's so much different paint. And in different colors. Oh, fun. Always reuse what you have. Yes. Always. Always. It gets super expensive if you're not reusing your supplies. <laughs> um, and I'm just gonna put the drop there to see if it comes up. It does come out. Okay. So um, with your colors, what I do is I, you're going to put several colors on. So okay. I'm going to go with blue and orange because blue and orange is my favorite, well, my favorite Ooh. colors. And so I'm just going to put a puddle there. 
shake this up a little bit. Let's see what it Do you just get a uh, pour, like paint for pour? You can get those pre made or do you make your own? You can get those pre made. I like to make my own and I follow a lady on Facebook. She does a 80% flow trough, 30% color, and 20% water. So 80, 20, 10. 10. Yeah, and she measures everything. That doesn't end up enough. It's it doesn't it's, come out to 100%. It's one, yeah. So, oh, okay. Because I always leave room because if, it, if it's a little too thick or whatever, then I can add more water. Got so, it. Cause so it's 80 to 20 and then water on top. Yes. Okay. And then shake. Oh, fun. So once you get that on there, I'm just going to grab that blow dryer there from you. There and you there's go. several different ways that you can do this. Okay. You can actually pick it up. And you can do what they call the tilt method. Ooh, fun. And it just kind of stretches it out. Right. <clears throat> or you can do the crazy method like I like to do. Ooh, crazy. Put the blow dryer. <laughs> and you just kind of, and it gives it more of a feathered, okay, feathered edge. Oh, how fun. And then, then you can still pick it up, tilt it. And you're going to eventually want to make sure your sides are all covered. Uh huh. Since we're just playing today, we'll probably scrape this off and paint, pour on this several different times unless we find something that we really, really like. Okay. That sounds great. And I just kind of make sure that my color gets all over the top. Uh huh. Ooh, I love how the orange looks on here. And that is Crazy. how easy paint pouring is. So I'm gonna let you put, okay. maybe put some more white on there, so we it's can kind of yeah, so you can know, blow it over the side. Maybe on the perimeter. Yep. Just kind of. Is that good? That's good. Should I just maybe tilt it a little bit? Would that help? Um, or you can. Or what I do afterwards is I stick my fingers in and I go around and I make my sides ah. pretty. Okay. So that works. Okay, so I'm supposed to put something on yes, there now. Some colors. Some colors. Colors. What do you want? Oh, there's gold. And there's gold. Use this there's one? gold here too. Yep. Same, same gold, just different containers. Ah. This works out really weird, so you're going to want to squirt it on the table first because it's a the honey, honey plant oh, type thing. Oh, got it. For honey. And Ooh, see how fast it comes that out. That goes fast. You may want to do this because you can do. Yeah, like, let's do that. It's a little <laughs> bit more controlled. <laughs> Okay. And you can make it, you don't have to put it a puddle like I, you can make it corner to corner, you can make an X, you can make uh, like a swirl. There's a million and one things she's, you can do. She's speaking my use, language. Use your imagination. Use your imagination. Okay, we're going to use my imagination. All right. Well, you guys. <laughs> Welcome to the resident dog. No, that's, yeah, we're, um, <laughs> we're at the studio and there is a dog, so. <laughs> yeah. We actually have a dog room in studio downstairs and usually we get dogs that, that you may have to open because I think I should. Oh. I always shut my tops Got because it. I'm notorious for picking them up and shaking them all over my set. You know, you guys can't see me right now, my face, but I am literally sticking my tongue out. I'm so concentrated <laughs> and focused that my tongue is like hanging out like I'm a puppy. This is <sighs> Whoa. Yeah. Ooh, fun, fun. Let's just do that. Why not, right? What do we have to lose? She said I can scrape it off anyway. Yes, exactly. <laughs> She's doing a creative design. Well, of course. I'm here Same to play. People. I'm here to play, and that's what we do. We create things, right? And I get to see a perspective of someone different, and that's purple. <sighs> here. Oh. Okay. Okay. Done. So. How would you like to do it? Do you want to do it? No, 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 no. You want to do it? <laughs> okay. Today? Can I? You can. I can. You can blow with your mouth if you'd like. Okay, I'm going to try. A lot, it takes a lot of wind. <laughs> <laughs> it 
Okay, don't do it with your mouth. <laughs> Anyway, is this like a special blow dryer? Um, that is a little blow dryer that I got at Walmart. It's the one that they put shields. Look at the size it's just of a it. Little tiny mini one. It, is it like an art something? No, or it's not it, an art. It's just, it's it's just, just it's a blow dryer. It's by Book Shields. Oh. And it's her brand. And I don't know if I have that. I do have a container there. Oh, how there. interesting. And you want to keep it on the Okay, window. I want it to go this way. Well, I'm messing it up. Nope, we're um, actually doing art. We're filming. Hi. Oh <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> we're doing the art of paint game. She she's teaching me paint for. Because that's, that's her art over there. Yes. So this crazy thing. Okay. These people took like an old like wooden table, round one that was like not nice. And they just took like paint. And these, these get really, they like not that pretty good for one. Um, they took paint and then they like just poured it like in lines. Uh-huh. And then it covered the whole thing. Like they made different colored lines on it. And then they like spun it, or no, no, they rolled it on the edge. Yep. And it, it, oh my god! What's your name, sir? Keith. Okay, this is a hint from Keith. Use your old wooden table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, that's what I do with a lot of these. Yeah, it's kind of like that, but it's it's a little different. Yeah. 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 Right, thanks, thanks for stopping Keith. by. Oh, look, I'm getting, what are they called? Cells. cells. They're called cells. I'm cells. getting them. <gasps> can you see them? Can I lift this? Yes, I think you, can, I can. you can lift it. Oh, my God. Look at that. That is so amazing. Yeah, I've got some oh. interesting cells going on there. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Looks like a um, tornado. I just and love it. Look at the little bird head here. Oh my gosh, body. I see it now. There is a bird. Yep. Do you see the bird? That's the one thing that's neat about paint pores. You see all kinds of crazy it's things. It's a there. bird that sits on top of a fish. Look, that's a fish. Uh -huh. And the river. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, in the comments, tell me that you saw it. <laughs> Tell me if you saw it, because this is fantastic. So I'm looking at this, and I really like like this side over here, mm -hmm. right? But I don't like what happened over in this top corner with purple. Okay. Is there anything I can do with that? We can scrape it off. If I didn't want to scrape it off, like I really like this other side. Um, you can try blowing it this way. Blow it the other way. It. Okay. Uh, do you, is that okay? That yep. Yeah. Yeah. I feel awful oh, no. that paint goes on the floor. Oh, no. oh, no. Okay. Turn it upside down. Ooh. And blow that way. Yep. Blow that way. You may have to start back here a little bit too. There you go. Ah, look at that. Well, I kind of get rid of all of my purple. Right? Can I just go like this? Ooh. Okay. Can I try again? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that I like it. Let's try it. Oh, I don't. Take your lid off. I'm, I'm going to put a lid back on. And I'm going to forget, and then you're going to tell me I can. That, that's okay. <laughs> Fun. And then you can blow it with your mouth too. Oh, how fun! Wow, I know that's gorgeous. I love it. So, if you blow it with your mouth, <gasps> lost my bird. Bye, bird. 
Bye bye bird. But he you flicker. get more interesting things right. on there, and it gets more feathery. Oh, hair. <laughs> I don't have the hair. <laughs> it takes practice. Like even though when they try oh, this. to um, a little like a lobster crab there. Yeah, I know. And you're getting more cells. Oh, fun! Oh, I love this. I love this. So we can set those over to the side. Again. <laughs> like again. Or do, you want, or do you want to pour them again? I don't know. I think we have plenty of ships yep. that we can do, yep. right? So do you want me to just take them off and put them yep. to the side? Yes. Yeah. And then we'll fix the sides later. Okay. As long as the top is good, the sides can all come later. Okay. Oh, look at this here. I know. And what's nice is when you're doing pours, once this dries, mm -hmm. um, you can peel them off and make jewelry with them. Oh. I use a leather cutter and cut the this what this is called the skin. Uh -huh. And then you cut it and then um you can put, oh. put in jewelry. Look at that one there. That is amazing. So, but those are all so you do on. not you do not throw away like your covers. No. You just you just let it sit until it dries, mm -hmm. and then you use yep. no waste. No waste. No waste. I That's like cool. that. Very cool. Hummingbird. Oh sure, let's do hummingbird. And I'm gonna let you do it all by yourself. <gasps> no From pressure. Start to finish. Yeah. Ah! I'm not gonna say a word. Why not? I'm gonna watch. Why not? Okay. So, is the white base the same 80 to 20 ratio? I uh, basically make my base out of um, Sherwin Williams house paint, satin. And, okay. And I usually use just water and paint to fit it. And you want it to be kind of like a warty yogurt. Yeah. Consistency. Because you want yeah. it to stick on there, but you also want it to be able to flow. Off. So, it's like drinking yogurt. Kind yes. Of, yeah. Like a gogurt. Uh huh. Okay, I think I have enough on here, right? Mm -hmm. There's more colors. There's lots more colors here. Ooh. Yeah. As you can see, I'm a blue and orange person. So oh, I love that. This this green is cool. What is that? That's a lighter teal. This is this is a metallic. Metallic Ooh, too. Which one is it? That one? This is oh, Artist this Loft one? Metallic Cobalt Blue. Doesn't oh. look blue to me, but that's what they say the colors. Cobalt Blue. Okay, I don't know. Look at that. That's pretty. Oh, look at the camera. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the camera, it looks much bluer than it really is. And now if I put them next to each other, then. I know it's not as. Yeah. Wow! Yeah, I take it away and it's changing color. <laughs> <laughs> This is artist love green yellow. Okay, so hummingbirds. I'm thinking maybe I'll do one like teal green, teal and green, and what so else? Maybe, maybe a little bit eye. of yes, maybe a little bit this of red. A, this is a red. And then maybe the other one will go into like reds, oranges, and golds. Yes. 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 <laughs> she says yes. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Should I? Is it too full? It doesn't feel like it's shaking. And it was painting. Ooh, what a pretty color. Okay. Let's do this for I don't even know. Like, I'm trying to draw with it, and I suspect that's the wrong approach for paint for. Right? Because you're not really drawing with that. This is all going to mix up. Anyway. Right. It's going to mix up. It's going to do its own thing. Swishes. Right. What else did I say? This one. I don't think it's open. Yeah, of course it's not. See? Mm 
Oh my goodness. I like uh, this one. I'm just going to go with the bright green. Yep. Because it's coming. That is my color. I love lime green, lime green lemon yellow. Oh my God. Yeah, fluorescent yeah. pink. That's kind of my. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't work with yellow very much. I find yellow. So when you fix the yellow and orange together, it gets yeah. kind of brown. So okay, it does. Yeah, as you can see, it's turning kind of muddy over there on the bottom. It's so pretty. Okay, what am I doing? You can whatever do I want. Yeah, whatever you want. It looks like a cookie. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Oh, look at this. She's stretching out really cool. Oh, am I happy that I'm wearing gloves right now? Come on. The beak. The beak. Look, the there beak. he goes. Look Get at that. Beak. Get look the beak. how great she did that. Right down that beak. Look at that stripe down there. Pretty awesome. Bye, Keith. Bye. What you can do is you can tap in your feet and just kind of tap around and then tap your edges. Ooh. Ding, 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 ding. She said I can do that. Mm -hmm. I like I the stripe like... on his nose. Ooh. It took a looks like a, um, like a cookie. That was just frosted. Okay. Doesn't it? It does. Uh, probably because of the shape. I don't know. The shape and the colors, the way the frosting. Now I'm going to call it paint frosting. Oh, fun. Okay. Orange and red. Orange and red. Okay. I want to do the same thing now with orange and red. <laughs> Good luck. Because it never has a mind of its own. It does, doesn't it? It does not do what it's supposed to do. It's okay. I still like you, Paint. <laughs> okay. I know I'm close. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> yes, I do. Give me all the neon colors you've got. Oh, look at that. Oh, my dear creativeness. <laughs> I was like, where was I going with that? saying it's gold right mm -hmm. where some on the wing uh, remember your metallics will take over oh metallics take over okay you know what let's do this one Ooh, look at these right here. They're kind of like getting like swishes. I know. Like exclamation points. Well, they're doing their own thing already. I didn't even ask them to move, and they're already moving. I'm getting happy in there. Stop getting happy. <laughs> Looks good. Okay. I'm excited to see what it turns out to look like. I want something else in there for. 
you know, like here I have this magenta that's very really mm-hmm. unexpected in the in the bluish and greenish. Yeah. Okay. So I would just do a very thin line in there. She said, "Do a thin line." It's not going to come out. Of course not. Aha. Thin line. Ah, just like a henna line. Nah. Not going to work, but this works, right? Come on. There we go. Just enough to make it pop with a different color. Okay. Close. <laughs> okay, tilt. I think I like tilting better because I saw... I have more control on that pen. I, I understand how this works. I do not understand how the blow dryer really works. Ooh. Ah, ah. No. Come on, down the beak, down the beak, down the beak. I think I'm dipping too much. Mm-hmm. I need this to go back in. Oh, I need the bathroom. I'll move it down. I'm just sitting there on the floor. All right, look at that. I'm going to come back to the tail. Kind of hold it up, it'll we'll come down. Okay, so lesson I'm learning here is to be patient and really let that paint flow and not freak out that all my paint is dripping. <laughs> oh, look at the throat part of the bird, the nice blue in the throat. Yeah, that is amazing. Put the magenta above it. <sighs> what do you think? I love them. But if you, I don't know it, which one I love more. I feel like it so the, that can come down this right? way. I think we, yeah, we lost like too much paint on there. This way? Nope. Nope. Here, you do. <laughs> I was thinking coming this way to bring stretch the blue and the orange down. Ah. It's going to come from the wing area, it looks like. It just has a mind of its own. Yeah, but we get some of that neon orange now showing up. You see how it brought that V? Oh, I so love it. Oh my gosh. It lightened this area up here a little bit by stretching it out. Yeah. And then it brought that little bit of color down in there. And you guys should see what the gold did. Like, if you get real close, I'm going to try and show you, but I don't know if the camera will, will pick this up. Do you see the shimmer, the gold shimmers inside? Maybe not, but I see them. You can always sprinkle some glitter on there. Oh, don't mess with perfection. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. No, I know. Oh, this is pretty. Pretty. Okay. Again. Okay. What's next? <laughs> I don't know. Should we do the yep. pumpkins? Just kind of set those over to the side. Ah. Okay. So I have, I have two pumpkins here. And then we have uh, two dragonflies. And then I hope by that time I will get proficient enough and I will do Christmas ornaments. Or we can do the big board. Oh, and the big board. Okay. You do it. Me? You do it. Yes. You do it. <laughs> how okay. the master do it? See how she does it. Uh, this is what she would do. Okay. Because she doesn't want to waste any of that paint. Okay. <gasps> no. 
I'm giving away all my trade secrets. Oh. <gasps> and you pull it straight what? up. That's insane. And then you can just tap. Oh, I like that right there. That is absolutely insane. Oh, wow. I love how pastel it is. And, it's, and then when you tap it on, it just kind of makes a little pattern. Right. You get. So instead of brushing, you just tap. So yes. that you don't get the stroke. No stroke, just tap, and it makes it. And the paint takes a spot. Oh, how cool is that? Ooh. And then you can tap. Oh. How cool is that? And that's paint Look at that. Sculpting. And she is done. What's it called? Paint sculpting. Ooh. And then I can always blow it. As you can tell, I'm full of hot air. <laughs> <laughs> Took me a long time. And you'll see people that do, um, if you watch any YouTube videos, they yeah. will... Um, do what they call i'm trying to think what the name of it is hmm i'll think of it okay. and i'll get back to you okay blooms that's what it is uh, and when they do the blooms they i will try to do a bloom with this one what they do is they put the paint right in the center okay then they layer their colors So you're kind of making concentric circles? Yep, just as just kind of blooming just, them blooming them on top of each other. Okay. Ooh. That was a little <laughs> well, much. She loves orange and this is a pumpkin, so <laughs> I think it's gonna look great. <laughs> Do you have some black? Ooh. This is Liquitex Mars Black with fluid paint and water. And basically, I'm just going to put a drop if it is. If it would come out for you. <laughs> I don't want much in there because I want it to create cells. Ah. So, what you do here is I'm going to pick it up and blow it. Let me move this one out of the way. And you, Ooh, you, want take this? Okay. And you blow right on top of it. And you let it come back into the middle and see the cell action that you're getting from the black. Oh. And this is what they call a bloom. How fun. And you just let it come back into the center. And some people will put it on a spinning table and spin it. I haven't graduated to the spinner yet. Feels like you need a very controlled environment to do that. <laughs> I, I already have I already have paint on the wall from the blow dryer. Right. And as you can see, you get these really cool cells. Oh, they are so cool. From when you Oh look how the color's it. mixing and it's like, ooh. And I'm just gonna kind of tilt it. Oh, fun. Bring it back to the center, stretch them out. Look at this one right here, it looks like a butterfly wing. Mm -hmm. So what I'm seeing is that Ina's moving it, tilting very slowly. Yeah, let the paint, the gravity take the paint. So it's not as drastic as I was tilting for the humming birds. It's a bit slower. 
Ooh, look at that cell action. Some really amazing cell action there going on. Oh, I love all the colors. This is one happy pumpkin. And I'm just kind of rolling around. Just trying to keep it on the top of the pumpkin. And then also get a little bit over on the sides. When I first started doing paint pour pouring, I did not want cells. In no way did I want cells. Did not like them, didn't want them. Now, when I try to get them, I have a hard time getting them. Yeah. So, but look at this. Oh, how exciting. I'm sorry, action. I'm being a pool because I think I have my dog hair stuck to it. Okay. Yep. <laughs> See, there's dog hair or an eye of hair. Or Nuba hair. It's, it's hair. <laughs> and then I'm just going to tap the side of the pumpkin because it's got some really good color. Yep. Oh, that is so pretty. And you can always fix your sides later, but that's, I'm liking the... Oh, pretty. I really like the flow on this. There's a lot of movement. A lot of movement and a lot of cell action. Yes, I love this. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's like breaking over here where the green is. Mm -hmm. And you can see the little cells down in here. Yeah. It just seems like every time it takes a turn, you get cell action. Yeah. And there's some right here in the, the bright pink. What do you do when you get like little bubbles in your paint? Because that's kind of a thing that happens, right? Yep. You just take it out. You just kind of oh, tap it. Okay. You can tap it with your finger and the paint will go right back into the, the bubble. Ah, so cool. So, yeah, see that little bubble right there? Ah. It's gone. And it just filled yep. up with paint. Oh, yeah. And you can always pop bubbles too. Oh, there you go. With the torch. Doesn't it bake the acrylics now? But it makes more cells. Ooh. <laughs> makes more cells. Oh, so you warm it up and it it makes more cells. To... And see what happens with this one if we do the. We may get some. Yep, yeah, we're getting some cell action on this one here too. Oh my goodness. And she just said. Didn't she say at the beginning that uh, we can just scrape them? How can you yeah. ever scrape this? Look at this. The cells there. See how the cells They're showing up. up. Yeah. And basically it's bringing the air from the underneath, yeah. the air gases from underneath the paint up to the top. Yeah. And then popping the bubbles, which creates the cells. Oh, fun. Okay, wow. Okay, how do we do the stem, though? I know there, I know. I want to know. Oh, you just fill it up, huh? Done. <laughs> what do I do with that black? Put a little black in there. A little black. Come on, just a little. Oh my gosh. More cells in here. So this is like the most natural stem for the pumpkin. And we just heated it up and got some more cells. Oh my gosh. Okay, bringing this up. I am so bringing this up. You guys need to see this. Ooh, look at all of this. How gorgeous is that? Ooh, love it. So pretty. Oh, that's it. Yeah, get a drink of Voila, I guess I could use some too. I get dry when I talk too much. Uh -huh. Okay. What's next? Okay, so we have been here, it's been 40 minutes. So let's try and keep it under an hour. Okay. Is that fair? Because it's too much attention. Yep. And we'll try to break this down also.
I got to check this so people can see. Never mind, guys. It's just how we talk. <laughs> it's just back office to the chatter. Back office, yes. Oh, I'm really liking that. I love that. I absolutely love that. Okay. So I'm thinking, let's do... Do you want to just do the big one? Yeah, we can just do the big okay, one. Okay, let's just do that. I'm going to let it dry anyhow. So, And usually, <clears throat> I let my things sit on my table for 24 to 48 hours to dry. Ooh. This will be fun. Okay. Because I'll just turn it this way, and then they'll be here tomorrow, and it should be clean. Okay. So let me know what you want me to do. I'm just going to move these out of the way. Oh, okay. Because well, what will happen. Let's take these out because they're dry and they don't need to be sitting out. <laughs> yep, and I'm going to try to arrange my little thingies here, cups. All right. Here you go. That looks like a ten by twenty-four. No, that's ten. Not it's a ten. It's an eight by an eight by twenty. Eight by twenty. Yeah. And my husband makes all my canvases, my wood canvases for me. Ooh. So. Does he take orders? Should we? He he will out? he will he will do orders. Okay. He does work a full time job, but I can force him into making stuff for me. All right. Well, we'll give it a shout out. So that, same paint, okay. um, just in a different container. I never waste a container. No, 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 no. Those are too precious. Okay, so you're going up and down. And this one, I'm going to need more paint. That's why I went okay. that way. Oh, not that's not slippery, what to do. Slippery gloves with their all this paint. Right. Do you want me to pick that up a little bit? Yeah. Is it fine? It's fine. I'm yeah. gonna close this so that it's not right now, so that it's still useful. And I'm actually gonna run this over the sides because it is a big one, and I want my sides covered. Okay. And I look at all the chunks that are in my paint here, uh -huh. and I want to get the chunks out of my paint. Oh. Because that happens when your paint sits, you'll get chunks in there. And some of them could be just bubbles, some of them could be chunks. I <laughs> Move them out of the way. This is from the gold one. So for this one, I'm kind of covering the entire top, and picking out the chunks. Okay. I usually have uh, one of those little sticks there. Oh, oh you didn't want to come out. One, come two, on. it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm trying to be helpful. I'm just going to pick the chunks up. Yeah. Usually I have like a chopstick. Uh-huh. Of course, I walked out of the house without lots of stuff. Yeah. I imagine you could use those little, uh, there's wood and what are they called? For barbecue barbecues. skewers. Yep, barbecue mm -hmm. skewers. Yep. Or even a toothpick would do that. Yes. Pretty much anything that's thin enough. So, what would people like to see color-wise? Pick some colors. I think there's like two fav most favorite ones going around. One is the ocean theme. Okay. The blue, turquoise, gold kind of in there and white and a little bit of black. And then I also think uh, we're approaching Christmas. The red and green. So maybe the red and green. So it's it's up to you. You're, you're the boss. <laughs> I'm not a boss. Mm -hmm. Oh, right on top of that, huh? Yep. Okay. 
Ooh. That's my love language right there. I don't know what, what it's going to do color-wise, but we'll see. But you see how awesome it did over here in the function, though, that you did? Like, it just gives this border in between the two. Mm -hmm. um, gold. So yeah, I thought she would start making ribbons like a rainbow, but instead she's just putting all the colors on top of each other. And it's unexpected. <laughs> and then I'm going to put some black. Oh my goodness. Oh, fun. And because Lugo likes red, we're going to put some more red in there. Yes! Ooh. And more green. So it looks like um, the black, you used a half the amount than, yes. like, compared to everything else that you used. Okay. And I'm going to take the blue black. Hopefully I don't get it on the And I'm going to decide how I want to blow this out. Okay. So because of the shape that it is, this up here, I'm going to blow down. Oh. This I'm going to blow up. Huh? In the red over here. Oh, this look at that! It started developing. Oh my goodness! This is like more pastel, and mm -hmm. that's more bright. More bright and bold. Ooh. Oh yeah, I'm liking. I'm liking this a lot. This is pretty. And because I'm a glitter, a glitter person. Ooh, let's do glitter. Myself. <gasps> I'm going to pour some in my lid. Oh, show them the camera. Show, 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 show. Oh, I'm going to yeah. pour some in my lid. Just okay. a little bit. It only takes a little bit of glitter. Okay, it looks very um, holographic. It is. It's called Silk and it's from Win Modern Art. And I just kind of. Oh. Just sprinkle like it above to give it some shimmer. And I so want it's to, not like adding salt to your chili. No, <laughs> no. It's just enough to give it a little bit of glimmer. Oh. And I try to make sure I get all of the color, like hit at least where all the color parts are. Uh huh. And I'm just sticking it between my fingers and rolling it so it just kind of drizzles off. Yeah. Get the action of the cells down here. I'm also admiring the skins on the bottom. Uh huh. Like, you cannot make that on purpose. Like, things like that, they just do not happen. You have to. Now hit the just the plain white around the edges. Oh. That part over here, it looks like a heart. A heart? Like or the a... anatomic, you know, painting mm -hmm. of a heart. That is so pretty. 
just like that. Bam, 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 bam. bam. <laughs> and see, I didn't use a lot of glitter. I still have a lot of glitter in my lid. Right. So that lost you quite a bit, huh? Yes. Cool. I get, I think, two ounces, three ounces at a time, four ounces, and I've had this over a year. And oh, I've wow. used it on numerous pieces. But yeah. You can see that there. The other thing you can do, I don't want to mess with this, but mm -hmm. you can take a barbecue skewer uh -huh. and make designs. Like here, you can. Like hold your petals, yep. so to speak, yep. even if they're not petals, but you can kind of add. You can pour some petals out if you don't like that. I like that though, because I think it's going to spread a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Actually, this is not the look final. At that. There's view. an eye. It looks like a fish. <laughs> <laughs> I see all kinds. Of, oh, look at this here. There's a dog. Dog head yeah. like a greyhound jumping in there. Right. So yeah, so that is paint pouring. Oh, I really like goodness. those colors this together. Is so pretty. Oh, I'm gonna have to do more of this color because I'm really liking this. This a lot. is gorgeous. This will be up in the wall and for sale probably by the 15th of December. Oh, cool! Because I will go home and epoxy it, and epoxy will make it the colors pop even more. Yeah. I know this is beautiful. So it makes me so happy. All the color. Go over here and get some more. Yeah, there's like a lot of blank Quite spots. A bit. Yeah. Do you want? Can I just put my? Yep. Put your finger is in that okay? I don't thought. I don't want to do that without permission. <laughs> oh no, you're fine. Just as long as you don't drip on top, you're fine. Nope. I am not gonna touch the top. Yeah, that that turned out amazing. I am. That's Amazed. Beautiful. Here's a little three leaf clover for good luck in the cells yeah. that's right there. This is gorgeous. So today is November 11, which is if you're into numerology and all of that and angel numbers, it's 11 11. Oh, 11, 11, it's 22, like, which 11 and 11 is 22. It's oh. it's an amazing, amazing day today. Yes. So, and you said that it would be kind of ready uh, middle of December. Yes. So it's going to take... I'm going to wait till it dries. I, I'll leave it 72 hours, if not longer, to dry completely. Okay. Because um, with the glitter and everything in it, you want to make sure it's set. Yeah. before you put epoxy on it because sometimes when you put epoxy on it you'll get little divot holes and uh -huh. you don't want that Ooh, so okay. that's why you let it dry so let, let your acrylics dry and set and cure <laughs> if you're going to if you're going to give use it, epoxy right right give it a week <laughs> to be sure right. i probably won't i probably won't epoxy this until thanksgiving weekend Okay, so that makes sense. If now, you're, if you're around Thanksgiving weekend and you want to come watch the epoxy, we can do that again. We can let's do it. See what's happening because yeah. I'm teaching something. Okay, because um, I'm teaching that Friday. Yeah, and then Saturday I can do it Saturday late day. Yeah, because there's winter wonderland going on down here. I have a color with cute online. Okay, three days. Okay, well, so it's uh, yeah, it's just a matter of, or uh, maybe I can do a time lapse yeah. of it and then send it to you. Oh, that would be fun! So, yes, okay, so um, let me ask you about this li the little ones that mm -hmm. we did. Do they need as long to dry because they don't have as much paint on them? Uh -huh. They're already 24 hours, <laughs> okay, so they should be dry tomorrow, but we're gonna want to do our sides. Because I'm going home and I'm pulling out my float roll because I have that and I have the paints and I'm going to do my um, ornaments. I'm going to do my ornaments and then I know to let them dry. Yes, let them dry. <laughs> and when you're mixing your, when you're mixing your um, white paint, you're going to use your white as your base. Or uh -huh. you can even use black as your base. I uh -huh. don't use black very often. I always use the white because I like the color. Yeah. I've used an um, um, off-white. Yeah. In, Okay. It's, it's different. It appeals to me, but it doesn't it's appeal to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. 
Everybody likes the bright colors. Yeah. So. Okay. Wow. But if you have any problems, call me, and I will help you with <laughs> your mixture. <laughs> all right, guys. So uh, we will have, or we do have for you, all the all Ina's information will be in the description. And uh, I think we'll do something else sometime later. <laughs> It'll be fun. This would be cool with some dots on it, too. With the dot know. on it. Okay. <laughs> all right. See you next time, you guys.